the ancient city of Petra. Hiding in the Middle Eastern canyons of Jordan lies what was once a thriving trading city, now lost to time. These ancient tombs and temples are visited by tens of thousands of people each year. The ancient Arabic people who built this city 2,300 years ago were the Nabataeans, but the area probably has a much longer history going back thousands of years before that. The Nabataeans were a nomadic people who traded with other countries, and that's probably why Petra, with its favourable trading location, was chosen. The word Petra means rock or stone in Greek, which is very fitting because the city was not just built by stone, but was mostly carved into it. Petra has two other names which tell you more about it. One of the names it goes by is the Rose City, so called because of the colour the sandstone turns at sunset and sunrise. Another name is the Lost City, because for over 500 years its location was forgotten. Petra was only rediscovered 200 years ago, in 1812, by a Swiss traveller. Over 20,000 Nabataeans called this place home at one time. The Romans took control of Petra in the first century AD. Then a large earthquake in 363 AD destroyed much of the city. New and better trade routes started to be used and Petra's importance declined. The Nabataeans were a very resourceful people in many ways, as proven by their innovative water management system. They collected groundwater and rainwater from nearby and distant areas using channels cut into the rocks. In these channels sat terracotta pipes, which let water flow gently from various cisterns at the tops of canyons around the city. They had enough water for themselves, their camels and things they grew. It's even said they had enough water for a swimming pool. Another marvel of their architectural will is their theatre. Carved into the hillside, it could seat over 8,000 people. Audiences would be entertained with plays, readings and fights. If you want to visit Petra someday, you'll probably arrive in Jordan's biggest airport in the capital, Amman, which is about a three-hour drive to Petra. But don't make the mistake most people make in thinking you can see all of Petra in one day. The ancient city is huge and cars aren't allowed, so you'll be doing a lot of walking, hiking and travelling between sites, usually on foot or by camel, or sometimes horse-drawn buggies. So to really enjoy all of what Petra has to offer, you'll need two or three days, and staying in the nearby town is highly recommended. And lastly, you may not have thought it possible, but you can even enjoy the lost city at night. In front of one of the tombs, the facade is lit up by candles, and sitting on a blanket, listening to traditional music, you can relax and imagine what this ancient city must have been like. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.